What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this lovely Wednesday. For this week's video I want to do a few things all at once, maybe to my detriment, but as a result this is going to be a two-part video. This week we're going to focus on how to get a digital sketch off your computer and onto a paper surface. So let's take a look at the image we'll be using today. This drawing is one I made back in 2015 and really wanted to do more with, but never got around to finishing. As it is, it found its way on my business cards, but I still want to bring it to a completed state. Here you can see how I use photo reference for each body part to create this amalgamation of a character. When working with the human form, I'm a strong advocate for using reference to get as close to photorealism as possible. So let's take our image, pop it into a thumb drive, and put that into our projector. I'll link this projector in the description if you're interested in checking it out. I was able to pick this one up for about 100 bucks. You'll be tracing your image against a solid surface, and we'll need to set the projector down on a tabletop or mount it to a full-size tripod. The angle is extremely important to prevent a warped final image. The projector should always be exactly perpendicular to your surface. This might be hard to see, but I'm very lightly tracing the image onto my sheet of paper here, and I'll be using my hand to cast a shadow to check my line work. It's important to double check you've gotten every line drawn in your piece before you move your setup. Once you tear down everything, it can be a nightmare to get the projector aligned exactly right and add in things you forgot. Great, so now that I've got my image lightly sketched on the paper, let's take it down and get started with the marker work.
and here I'm going to start to add a few things that will help the composition and add detail to the entire piece. Now for this video we'll be stopping with just the line work, and next week you'll see me tackle all the coloring for this piece. Thanks for watching! As always, all of the supplies I used in this video will be listed in the description. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. That's going to help get this channel off the ground, and I would absolutely love you all forever for it. So until next week, happy painting!